This is Dirk Witte in Utrecht. Uh, welcome to my shop. I'm the owner and I would like to show you around at my store and show what we do on vintage guitars and uh, new guitars. This is one of uh, uh, the guitars I really like. This is a 66 Mustang in Daphne Blue. Uh, the cool thing about vintage guitars is that a lot of them age in a really nice way. So we have mint guitars all, uh, in vintage, but the ones which I uh, really like are the ones which uh, the color has turned a bit. So you can really see that this guitar has been around. Uh, you can really see that it's been played, that it's been loved. And uh, that's what I think really is a vintage guitar. If it's been used, if you can almost read the songs that's been uh, played on it, that's uh, when uh, I think it's a really cool vintage guitar. Uh, this one is 2,399 euros. It's listed on Vintage and Rare. And this is one of the things which uh, we will definitely see more in our store. Old Mustangs, old Jaguars, old Jazz Masters, all offset things are, yeah, I like to be having a unique stock. So uh, the, the harder to find colors, the earlier models, it doesn't need to be uh, L series for it to be a really cool guitar. Uh, it can be affordable vintage guitars which are good enough to perform. This will definitely be something which is going to be played and uh, rather of uh, collector's items. But well, we have the collector's items, but I think this is cool because it's a usable vintage guitar which is uh, uh, definitely better than the new ones uh, uh, available on the market for now. Next one, really cool ES330. This is something which is in near mint condition. Original hang tags, original case, not the top which is uh, uh, shrinked in. So definitely a really cool vintage guitar in uh, uh, good condition for its age. Still have some nice crackle in it from being a vintage guitar. We really like to have clean guitars next to uh, guitars which have been modified but uh, still have the real uh, vintage vibe on them. Uh, this one is 5,000 euros, so just under it, 4,995. A clean example of a 330 from the 60s. Uh, next one in line, not to be vintage, but to be rare. This is a 2005 model. It's called Tree of Life. It has a really nice flamed uh, koa top. It has a lot of inlay. These are one of the models which uh, uh, we love because it's uh, unique, it's special, and it's a, a custom shop uh, uh, with a lot of detail for uh, 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 craftsmanship. So this is, you're looking at a guitar of uh, 7,000 euros, uh, which certificate, unique piece of art. This is something we definitely like. We have a big history with Rickenbacker's guitars at uh, Dirk Witte. Uh, this is not a 360, this is a 381 12 string. Uh, which makes it the highest uh, possible craftsmanship of Rickenbacker you can buy. So it's a real arch top, it's carved. And this is uh, a guitar which uh, I think is unique. So if you're looking at rare stuff, this definitely is a rare one in Fire Glow. You will find natural ones, but the Fire Glow ones uh, you uh, uh, don't see a lot. This is 2014, mint condition, case, uh, hang tags, everything is with it. And you're looking at a guitar of 5,000 euros. A masterpiece. Talking about vintage guitars, this guitar is really cool. What I liked, what I showed you with the Mustang, is that you can really see that it's been owned, that it's been somebody's pride. So here on the top you can see that it's been strummed a lot with a pick. This is a great playing hummingbird, 1973, and it's all original. A EMG pickup built in, so it's ready for live performance. But this is a really cool a vintage guitar. It's a Hummingbird Custom, so it has this special binding in the center of the uh, back of the guitar. And it's uh, uh, well preserved, but it's a player thing. So that's what uh, we like. And we have it next to a 2019 model. So you can try either the new stuff or the vintage stuff and make your own choice. At Dirk Witte, we don't only have Rickenbackers or Gibsons or uh, vintage Fenders. This is cool, this is a silver tone, but it's one of the uh, most expensive models from that era. It's 1962, it has three pickups which are called speed bumps, and the looks of the pickup really explain why they have that name. Uh, it has checkered bindings, this guitar is uh, all original, uh, 
and we're looking at 1195 euros and this is definitely a guitar you won't find a lot in Europe so if we're talking about rare and vintage combined this is a cool thing to for you to watch look at this old Gretsch we have uh, uh, a lot of vintage uh, jazz or hollow bodies in the shop so we always try to have uh, at least a couple of uh, old Gretsches uh, this is the anniversary model and uh, the nice thing about old Gretsches is it's not as expensive as a Gibson or a, a Fender and you still get a lot of US character in this uh, sound. It's a different guitar, it's really a rock and billy uh, style but it's a uh, uh, really cool color to have. So this again 60s old Gretsch and you're looking at around 2300 euros. This is something the shop is really proud of to have. This is an ES5 from 1950 in a really good, good condition. All original. They took out all the potentiometers, but they kept the harness completely original in the case. So uh, what you see a lot about these guitars, they were already expensive in the 50s, which means that a lot of these models have been taken care of pretty good. Uh, so this one is preserved in an extremely well condition. Uh, it's been played, but you can hardly see. You can see some of the finishes which have gone off a bit on the neck. But overall, this is a great sounding jazz guitar. And if you would ask me what would be the uh, best guitars around, then I would say jazz guitars. It's a lot of effort to build a nice jazz guitar. Uh, and uh, it's definitely something the shop will always have. Super 400s, L5s, uh, that's something which uh, uh, I will always try to find and buy and uh, uh, collect for uh, uh, jazz lovers. We don't only focus on old guitars. Uh, it could be fun to have a matching set of years or a, a really cool, unique old amplifier. This is a 58 Champ, uh, which is in pretty good condition. It's uh, uh, original tweed. It's 110 volt, so you need a transformer. But we carry a lot of 50s, 60s old Fender amplifiers. Uh, we don't only carry the Fender ones. We have special brands like Premier or Airline or uh, uh, all these really old US amplifiers uh, uh, which you can uh, find at our uh, store. So uh, this is definitely one of the coolest ones. Back to rarities. This is new. This is something Fender does. It's called the rarities. It's a full rosewood neck. It's a hollow body uh, Stratocaster. It has a humbucker at the bottom, but you still have a S1 switch to make it uh, a humbucker sound in the, in the uh, neck position. Uh, we do a lot of new stuff, but we like to have uh, limited models, unique stuff, something you won't find a lot around. So check out this one, a rarity. Thanks for watching this movie. I really hope to see you online or in the shop. So we're based in Utrecht and you can find all our gear on vintage and rare. So uh, uh, don't hesitate to ask me questions if you want to know weight or uh, anything else. I'm uh, happy to help and uh, thanks again for watching.